for the next hour and 20 minutes or so, we're going to have her till the bottom of the hour. We are joined by someone who hasn't been on with us for close to a decade, Bernadine Smith, the founder of the Second Amendment Committee. She is a political research writer and gun activist, gun rights activist, and she is the recipient of many different awards for patriotic achievements. And in 84, she formed the Second Amendment Committee, which is a nationwide organization that provides information of benefit to those seeking a peaceful resolution to the gun crisis. She is the only person to receive three awards from the American Pistol and Rifle Association, one of those awards for the authorship of the Hanford pro-gun legislation, a measure which supports rights and states' rights in uh, enforcement of the Second Amendment of the Bill of Rights. That's stopping the cities from banning guns and violating state law. Smith has also authored legislation to restore the militia system to its proper role. I'm not going to go over her entire bio. Many gun owners have... Uh, uh, acclaimed the Second Amendment Committee to be the number one gun defender in the nation over and above the National Rifle Association and any other large pro-gun organization in the nation. Undoubtedly, uh, Bernadine Smith with LibertyGunRights.com and the Second Amendment Committee, undoubtedly she has done groundbreaking research to understand the threat. Now, back in like 1998, she contacted me. She'd been a guest. And she said, listen, I'm going to send you basically one-of-a-kind binders with all the proof from the government's own documents, public source, of the plan to, to end U.S. sovereignty, bring in U.N. troops, uh, disarm us. Now, that's in the new U.N. treaty. And it says, Article 15, they'll send in member states to disarm the other country, that only governments can be armed, but only enough for their internal security. And she's got all the documents, not just 7277, State Department memorandum, all of it. Now, she sent me this time, because I loaned somebody one of these years ago and never got it back. She sent me all three of them at once. Uh, and, and one of these I hadn't had before. And they all tie together. Um, and, and again, it's just full of news articles. In 1937, you know, the New York Times calling for a global government and nine regions controlled inside the U.S. and all this. Now we're under 10 regions. You, you understand the robber barons have been pushing for this for a long time. Now it's here. And so she's going to go over the Second Amendment. But to understand that, you've got to go back and understand the State Department, this all came on congressional hearings, is run by these offshore banks now. That's why they've gotten to the point of admitting that we've been conquered by foreign banks on CNBC and all this. But they say it's good to be under this unelected global government. So this is probably the most important information out there. People like Rosa Corey write a great little 180-page you know, book uh, behind the green mask that we sell at InfoWarshop.com. It's great to give county, city people so they understand the buzzwords and this global government standardization. But if you really want to understand the wider breadth and depth, Bernadine Smith. And so, Bernadine, it's great to have you here. You know I get excited. I'm going to try my best today to sit back and just guide us in and out of the breaks. And while you're talking, for a record, we also have cameras in here so I can show exhibits, as you mentioned, the page number. So just, uh, you'll have the floor here to break down your research, the big picture. And then I'd like to begin at the start of it and go through the, 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 the system we're now pretty much under. Uh, and ways to turn this around because the knowledge of this blueprint that you've reverse engineered and that has been proven to be stunningly accurate is the only way out of this. If we can get this message to the people, evidence shows that they will uh, understand it's illegitimate and fraudulent and that we can uh, say no to it. Uh, so again, Bernadine Smith, great to have you with us. Where should Where should we start here today? Well, I think we have to address the fact that the small arms treaty is coming up, and every treaty has to have what they call enabling legislation, which applies to that particular um, member that is a party to the treaty. So there is legislation that is prepared, and um, uh, if we allow it to continue, it will force us to be totally and completely disarmed. Even our military will no longer belong to our own country. As it is now, it practically doesn't because they use it for whatever they need uh, to force other countries 
to comply uh, with a plan for a world government. Uh, world government, as you've probably had a lot of shows on that, um, people return once again to being serfs on the land that their forefathers had conquered. So uh, it, it isn't that we are trying to stop something that is good. We're trying to stop things that are bad. When people are totally and completely disarmed, uh, they have no authority whatsoever. And as you know, everyone knows that the United States is a republic. And the definition of a republic is that the people themselves are the final authority. And the only way that can happen is if the people uh, have arms and they are willing, able uh, to defend that position of being uh, the final authority and a Republican system. So uh, this is what we're up against, is because government is trying its very hardest to take away the guns from the people. Uh, you know that, and I think most people uh, have seen this since, um, well, at least since 1971, when they started out with the uh, law enforcement assistance administration. Um, that was a uh, guiding um, commission that the federal government set up, and they took over every state, and um, they tried to get them to agree uh, to uh, changing. Well, they did. They got them to agree to changing their standards and their uh, goals of operation within their criminal justice system throughout their whole state. Well, um, a lot of the, well, all of the states complied. And um, the bottom line is that when the submission of uh, their final version of improvements in their standards of operation and goals and so on, there were some pages that were unauthorized. Up to this point, all of the work had been authorized by the people. They were willing to update and make everything uh, easier and um, more safe for the people. And uh, that was the main theme, was that they were uh, going to reduce crime. But what the bottom line and the truth of it was that they were intending from the onset to take away the guns from the people. Now, those two things are not synonymous. You cannot take away the people's guns and then have them live uh, in, uh, uh, under liberty and have um, uh, a um, republic where the people are the authority. Once they lose the guns, they're not the authority anymore. They're helpless, no matter what comes along. If they're not armed and able to resist, they, they, are, they are, you know, more or less serfs again. So anyhow, um, we um, were fortunate enough that um, one very brave person had the nerve to go into a federal office in California, in Sacramento, and um, he demanded that they give him certain documents. He knew what they were up to, that they were planning secretly to get the guns. And um, so he tried to get, um, and he did. He uh, finally convinced the um, man that was in charge of the office uh, to allow him to go past the swinging gates, and uh, he took uh, enough documents to fill the back of his car. And um, he came to see me because he knew that I was also fighting against the um, gun grab and the plan for total and complete disarmament. 
which is no no secret. Anybody can go in the internet and look up Public Law eighty seven two ninety seven, and they'll see that our government is planning to give our military to the UN. We'll have no military whatsoever, no army, no navy, no air force, um, and and we will be um, more or less. Um, captives of, of a communist world government. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for truth seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find at InfoWarshop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. And uh, for about 20, 30 minutes in the next hour, we'll open the phones up for Bernie Smith. If you've got any Second Amendment questions. Now, again, if, if you're a radio listener, you can't see this, but I've got three big giant binders here. One of them is, is, is about four and a half inches thick or more. It's got the actual copy from the State Department, Freedom from War, the United States Program for General and Complete Disarmament in a Peaceful World. It's got the New York Times. It's got the L.A. Times actually calling for world government. And by the way, we sent guys down years later to UT, to the microfilm, to get the actual copies of this. That's why you see some of these in my film, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. Not that I was checking in on Bernadine Smith. I just wanted to show the microfilm spinning and, you know, have some shots of our, our guys down there, you know, for the film. Like, we went to the library, to, you know, as a way to illustrate it to people. It's there. Everything in there, everything she's got in here is at the library, folks. You know, at a big library. They'll have it in the microfish. And this is what we're talking about. I mean, this is crazy. It's all in congressional hearings. It's all admitted. The end of the family, the end of farms, the end of uh, private property, the end of your guns. They've got to get that first. And now the U.N. Treaty says in Article 15, I want to go over some of that with her, that they're going to take your guns and use foreign governments to do it. Exactly what's in State Department memorandum. Exactly what's broken down by 7277. This is a plan. And people are like, well, we're waking up. Guns are more popular. We're reversing stuff. Yeah, but they don't care. They've introduced bills now to ban all semi-autos and ban uh, clips of 10 or larger and ban ammo sales online and register and all this stuff. And the media is saying we're conspiracy theorists if we think they want our guns. Even though when they're in control of a country or in control of a city like New York or Chicago, they totally confiscate them. Bernadine, I'm going back to you here, but just... Uh, before we go to this long segment coming up and really get into the history of this and the documents, and as you talk about them, I'll flip through them here for people watching at PrisonPlanet.tv. And again, tomorrow we'll archive this on Infowars.com for everybody, the full video, and I hope everyone gets it out to people. But this is the proof. What is it like for you when they introduce bills to ban or restrict guns and then say, we're conspiracy theorists, we don't want your guns? I mean, it, just the incredible level of deception. And then... What do you make of Time Magazine saying how guns won and they admit America has turned against guns, but they go on to say it doesn't matter, they know best, they've got to ban our guns. What do you make of, in the three minutes we've got before we go to break again, what is the current state of the fight? You know, like the State of the Union. Well, the current state is that they're trying to um, introduce legislation to the Small Arms Treaty that all guns will be prohibited and you will have to surrender them. They even have plans for surrender agencies by which you have to turn in your guns. And if that isn't enough, they'll have foreign troops here that will go house to house and search your home 
for any guns or any in your backyard that you may have hidden. Uh, they intend to strip us entirely of any possibility of, of remaining the ultimate power and keeping a republic. They, they want a world government, as you know that. But um, the main thing that I'm trying to bring out is that they have lied about having the permission of the people to take away the guns. They cannot take them away without our permission. So they have falsified the permission of the people to be disarmed. And that's the the, the, the crux of the whole matter that uh, has me uh, publishing this uh, recent binder, which is called uh, Falsification of the People's Approval for the Prohibition of Their Right to Keep and Bear Arms, an expose on unlawful pages 340 and 341. So right there, it's all in a nutshell that when they uh, studied the judicial system, and this was done in every state, not just California, we got to watch it in California, and we got to find out that they were slipping in at the back of a the, the thick brown book that I sent you. Um, they slipped in as an official entry that the people had given their permission to be disarmed. In other words, uh, the Bill of Rights is supreme law. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. And this is only part of the physical disarmament. Then they're going to cut off the power plants. That's now starting. They're going to take your farms, your ranches. They're not going to let you sell things uh, out in the country on the side of the highway. That's already happening. The only jobs are going to be government enforcers. They've had NLE 09, 10 and 11, these FEMA drills, where FEMA put out press releases saying troops from 15 nations are training to take on American terrorists. And they've got the ABC News shows demonizing militias and gun owners. News shows coming out like Founding Fathers, where evil Texans won't turn their guns in. But don't worry, they get what's coming to them. You have the, the, the training manuals that FEMA gets down to the police, where they say the gun owners are bad, the founders are bad, Ron Paul's bad, Alex Jones is bad, Chuck Baldwin's bad. There's hundreds of these. And it's actually woken up a lot of police. But for those of us that live studying this stuff, we know exactly what's going on. And it's, it's frustrating to see other people out there who are not aware of what's happening. Now, as Bernadine Smith's been talking, I've been going over some of the documents uh, that she's discussing. But I'm looking at one document here uh, that is the New World Order. The uh, 10 groups instead of the 50 states. And then she's got it out of the New York Times, April 21st, 1935. Sorry, I was saying 37. Nine groups instead of 48 states. The map of the United States, as it might be redrawn under the revision of states' rights, would be abolished and the country would be divided into nine departments. Well, they divided them into 10. And so they have this parallel. And here's the original New York Times article, nine groups instead of 48 states. It talks about the great experts and how they're going to do And see, that's already been done. Notice it's pretty much the same regions, too. Just unbelievable uh, how they've done all of this. And I've got to do a whole report just on this invaluable information. And then today's reality. So, again, this is already in place. They're just... They're absorbing the old system and kind of leaving it there so they can point at it ceremonially. But the final thing they haven't gotten is our families and our guns. So now they have all these TV shows saying having a family is not normal. It's bad. It's not the you know it's 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 not the new normal. They, you know they've got bombarding these images scientifically, like Miss Magazine was started by the CIA, not to empower women, to destroy them, to make sure they were alone, and so the state can now be their their husband. And it's all in these documents. We know we have Charlotte Israby on, who was the number two at Department of Education, dad and grandfather, you know, skull and bones. She spilt all that information. And it, it's, it's their world. The point is, these documents, they did it. It happened. 
I want to get back into the Second Amendment, the UN Treaty, where we are now, what their master plan is, Bernie Smith. But uh, what is it like for you to be fighting this 30, 40 years? You can correct me on the dates. And to now know that, it, that well, I mean, you knew it was real, but to actually see them implementing it. And if you and others hadn't been there, I know they would have already had a lot of this implemented. What is the time frame on all this? Well, I, I'm not able to tell you that. I mean, they're going to um, adjust their time frame uh, according to their progress. And they're making quite a bit of progress because uh, who has contested uh, the law that, that was signed by Kennedy uh, in 1961 that um, moves our armed forces to international control? In other words, the United Nations, which is composed of communists as well as uh, non-communists, but um, the purpose behind the whole thing is to have a world army and, and a world government. And um, people will be um, un unarmed and, and unable uh, to object to the fact that they can't own land anymore. That's one of the tenets of, of the New World Order, is that all land belongs to the world government. You can pay rent on it, but you can't own it. So, uh, and, and the use of your automobile uh, will have to be uh, prescribed according to what your needs are. If you can't carry uh, your parcels, then maybe you can use your automobile. There's all kinds of plans that are different from the American way of life. And uh, for us, uh, we have never given our permission, but the main thing is, uh, that I'm objecting to, is that they have um, lied uh, about having our permission uh, to uh, remove all arms and, and guns from uh, personal possession. And um, without having arms, then uh, we, we are not able to um, defend ourselves against these kinds of plans. The reason that they have been so slow, yes, it started in, um, well, even before Kennedy signed uh, in 1961 for us to be completely disarmed, uh, the reason it went so slow is that the people did grab on to what was happening, and uh, the Internet, of course, uh, gave us the opportunity to dig out these documents, plus by writing to the uh, State Department, you could get uh, publications that they had to send you. And um, But they're claiming that we gave our permission. That is the thing that gets me, is that... We never gave our permission to be disarmed or uh, to have a world government or to uh, get rid of um, our republic, which places uh, limitations on the power that uh, public officials can uh, exercise over the people. And um, we would be very foolish not to defend what George Washington and our founding fathers did for us because... Um, thereby, we do have liberty and, and true freedom. So, um, like, I, like I have said before, uh, Kennedy was the one that signed a bill which reads this way. It says, the terms arms control and disarmament mean the identification, verification, inspection, limitation, control, reduction, or elimination of armed forces of armed forces and armaments of all kinds under international agreement, including the necessary steps taken under such an agreement to establish an effective system of international control and to create and strengthen international organizations for the maintenance of peace. So the uh, United Nations is a stand-in for what all they have lined up as a world government. I've seen uh, three different constitutions that they have for world government, and uh, it, it, it will 
not bring uh, the uh, enjoyment of life that we have had uh, under our Constitution. But the main thing is that we have never given our permission. And that is the thing that I'm trying to expose today. Yes, ma'am. Let's talk about State Department document 7277 that I have a copy of right here in, in this binder you sent me. And again, uh -huh. I actually went to the University of Texas mm -hmm. back when you first sent it to me. I guess it was in 98 or 97 and actually pulled it myself. And again, it wasn't that I didn't believe you. I wanted to have it myself. And I, I, I checked one out and it, it had the same blue cover and everything. Also later mm -hmm. got one that was a brown cover. Uh, actually from uh, the early 1960s. I guess later they issued them in a blue cover. Uh, but uh, it states we will have no military and the UN will be here. Uh, and that's actually in the new UN treaty. It says they will use in Article 15 troops who are, who, who are given like mercenaries to the UN will be sent into states to disarm the people. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible. And it, it, it again, it shows our military is getting small and then it shows the UN army, uh, you know, uh, building up, and, and and this is all from State Department seven two seven seven. It's also out of blueprint for the peace race, but we're not talking about peace. We're talking about no one being able to oppose them, and seeing this now, uh, we see what the UN does all over the world, where they've they've seen it in the New York Times that they send the UN into Uganda and Honduras and other areas, and actually they murder whole villages and take them over saying it's to be an environmental preserve. And I even saw a decade ago a, uh, oh, what's that, uh, National Geographic magazine, and they were showing UN troops in Burma, driving people off the land to make it a UN sanctuary, but really they were just taking it to, to mine it. I mean, the UN is such a murderous group that the sex slavery, the child kidnapping, the drug dealing, the, the diplomatic community, and now these global interests are trying to give diplomatic community to the big banks, they're trying to give it to Monsanto. I mean, it's just a license to be like kings as you said at the start of the interview, and we, the slaves or the serfs, but did you see uh, CNBC a month ago admit that global government is here and run by foreign banks and that Europe is under dictatorial rule of the technocrats and that suddenly hundreds of news articles, Time, Newsweek, Financial Times, uh, we've shown the articles here saying, yes, we've been conquered, but it's a good thing and freedom is bad. I mean, I mean so now... I mean, I'm sure you've seen it, but give us your take if you have, and, and then B. Yes, I, yes, I have. Okay, so you have seen it. Yes. Why are they suddenly going from stealth? Because back in the 60s and 70s, you have the documents. They admitted the whole plan. Even back in the 30s, you have them. They implemented a lot of it, but then, but then we slowed them down. Now, even though we're more awake than ever, are they racing to the finish line? Uh, or am I wrong? I mean, do you agree that they're just racing right now? You know, I don't really have all the answers. The um, the people vote the wrong kind of leaders into office, and uh, it's because they they don't understand what the problem is. And um, the problem is that they have said that we have agreed to be disarmed and that we want world government. Now these are our lies. And uh, I went to a, um, oh, I forget what they call her, but I, I had a statement made um, by, um, oh, um, oh, what do you call it, a public, uh, anyway, it was an affidavit, and, and I had it attested to, uh, that told that um, we had never actually studied the gun issue. I talked to a person when I was in Sacramento at the time we were trying to stop what was going on when it was in the uh, the, the highest limits of, of uh, opposition. And um, two people brought this woman over. She was a member of one of the committees that was uh, working under our state governor at that time, who happened to be Ronald Reagan. And... Um, she told me that they never studied the gun issue. She said, I have never missed a meeting of my committee or the subcommittees. She never missed any of the required meetings or any of the meetings, period. And uh, they never touched into the, the subject of the gun issue. 
And yet, when the final work came out, here was this book with the consent uh, for the people, or from the people, to uh, agree that their guns could be uh, prohibited. And uh, also the other page which followed uh, that page was uh, number 341, which approved of change, that they wanted, uh, the, the public wanted things changed. Well, we don't want things changed to a detriment, but um, we'd certainly like to change it that we could get rid of, of uh, lying public officials and ones that want to overthrow our system and our republic. But this is where we stand now, is that um, they are pushing uh, for us to, uh, under the small arms treaty, that, uh, you know, we have to, we're going to have to give up our guns. And what I'm trying to uh, publicize this for, uh, Alex, is so that we can avoid a civil war, because people are not going to go along with this. They're going to fight when they're told that they have to give up their guns. And the government is going to fight because they're going to consider that they have our permission. So that is the crux of, of uh, what the, the um, uh, civil war that can happen here uh, will, will be centered around, is that one group is going to say that uh, you did give up your permission. The other group will say we didn't. Well, the fact is that they didn't. The people didn't. These pages were put into uh, the work that was done, as we talked about in um, oh, several uh, several decades back. They made these studies, and um, they revised all of the standards and goals, but they slipped these two pages in uh, the back that were not authorized. Even the committees that were, were responsible for assembling the book of standards and goals and changes. Now, now, Bernie, let me just stop you. Let me just. They didn't even know that those pages were put in. Sure, sure. We're, we're, we're talking about public laws and things. I happen to have in front of me falsification of the people's approval for the prohibition of their right to keep and bear arms. Uh, an expose on unlawful pages 340 and 341. Again, for people watching but also listening, describe the name of the document again that I'm showing them and then the pages that you're directing us to right now in this exhibit. Well, um, we put the whole binder, I think there's 75 pages in that binder, and we put the whole binder on my website. And if anybody wants to see it, all they have to do is go into www.LibertyGunRights.com. I'll say it again. www.LibertyGunRights.com. And I think it's the second category. We have a lot of documents up on the website. It's a big website. And notice and this is all Obama-style words. A national commitment to change. But again, um, a federal encouragement. Explain to people what this document is again, the document itself. Well, um, the one, you mean the one for the uh, falsification? Yes. Yeah. Well, I have, I, I sent you a copy, but I've sent it around to important people. Well, for one of them, it, it happens to be Rand Paul. And I've been checking with uh, his office. I, I sent it about two weeks ago, and um, they tell me that whenever they get a package, it's held up in the mail room for security. Yeah, yes, ma'am, we've got to go to break. Stay, stay there. You're, you're not understanding sure. my question. There's a bunch of different documents in here. I'd like to name the documents for people, and I, I understand they're on your website, and I'd like to be able to direct them specifically to it. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. 
TheraSafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com. And your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Let me explain why this is so important. I know you know that the UN and the globalists want our guns. They disarm people all over the world and line them up and shoot them, bring in Al-Qaeda in Libya, kill everybody. You know, I, mean, I mean, they're pure evil. Global government, eugenics bases are planned. But with this information, we can give them the State Department documents, public laws, the big law enforcement advisory commissions of Congress and the Justice Department. And that's what I have right here. Stating the goal is our total disarmament. This is what police chiefs are taught. Okay? This is what they're taught. This is their goal. So it, it was never about public safety, ladies and gentlemen. It's about global government. They know in Chicago and New York it makes crime explode when they take lawful guns. They know all this. They want your guns to make you a slave. And I know you know that. Politicians love disarmed peasants. It's very simple. When Rome would come into an area, they'd take all the swords of the captured people, kill all the men. That's what this is all about. And now they're saying how guns won. We're winning the intellectual battle. But they don't care. They're saying, and in official you know, public laws, that, that they've injected stuff into the law enforcement manuals that isn't part of the law. It's fraudulent. That's what she breaks down. They're teaching police chiefs and everybody with these federal advisory boards that she warned about 30 years ago that are now federalizing things publicly, saying that the people want their guns taken and saying it's a law. Just like they come to your door and want to know what kind of toilet you got and what type of bank you know statement you have under the census. And they say it's the law. No, it's the law to say how many people live there. That's what the code states, not what type of toilet you have or when you go to work in the morning. This is all fraud. And they know when they raise taxes in California, it's going to make it collapse. That's the other part of this global agenda is Agenda 21 to shut off the resources. The guns are only one part of it. And man, when you're reading the New York Times and LA Times saying they're going to have UN troops in every city, and now the Secretary of the Army is saying our military is under the UN and NATO and they're going to be in every city, it's here, folks. Bernadine Smith, what is it like for you now to, again, see them announcing world government, see them announcing troops in every city, but there are troops under NATO control? I mean, we're really deep into this, but it's, it's, it's a paradox. People are waking up. We've still got our guns. But, but, but the globalists are in control of the Federal Reserve, the federal government. They're looting us. So it's kind of a standoff, but it's not because they're busy shutting down our power plants, shipping GM to China. I mean, they're busy trying to bring us to our knees. Why? Just as you said before, they're looking for a complete world government. But, you know, the homeland security is one that really gets to me because... It's against the law in our country to merge the military with the civilian law enforcement, and that has been done. If you do that, you move from being a republic to being a dictatorship. You cannot have the military and the civilian law enforcement together under one head, but we have it. And so this is the part that, you know, you talk about, is it painful to watch these developments? Yes. Because how can you stop it um, unless you get someone, say, uh, I'm hoping to get Rand Paul that would bring an investigation into these things, uh, the changes in our system and the direction that they're taking us in. And um, if you get a, a large enough outcry in the country, you'll get some action. Exactly. But we don't have that. We don't have as big an outcry as we need. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? And she founded the Second Amendment Committee. She's been a stalwart uh, researcher on the global takeover. But, but the best way to describe this is robber barons in our own country in Europe set up the UN so they could transfer our sovereignty to it. It's not like the UN's taking us over. Traitors within our government set it up to then parallel and move the power over into it. Now our military, they openly tell Congress, is under the UN and NATO. 
and now we're being told they're going to be on our streets. And we're, and we're told they're for us, the number one terrorist, conservative libertarians that believe in a world government. All the military training manuals say that. And they say we're insane, even as they announce it on the news. Bernadine, what about this paradox of world government doesn't exist and you're crazy if you say it, but world government's here to save you. Uh, I mean, that's just amazing. And, and then I want to continue along the lines of Rand Paul. Yes, we need to get Rand Paul and... And uh, Ted Cruz, because because no, no no Democrats going to win the Senate race now here in Texas up against him. We need to. I mean, hey, let's see it. Let's 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 see it all on trial. Let's bring the whole system out in the open, because America has been occupied. Now they haven't fully implemented the occupation, but the, they've hijacked us. Well, that's for sure. And and it's what we're doing is we sent what you. Received from me, you know, uh, the white binder. Now, the white binder's on my website. I just already talked about that on this program at 75 pages. But um, all of this and the brown covered book with the evidences of, of uh, how they counterfeited our permission to disarm us, this has all been sent to Rand Paul and. I think the best thing we can get people to do is to call Rand Paul's office and uh, ask him to pursue this as an official uh, study. Um, otherwise, uh, I, I don't know how we're going to move without the cooperation of the, of the federal government itself reporting on its own um, uh, failings, its own uh, ill uh, intentions, because um, if we don't, Obama, one of these days, is going to sign that um, treaty that they have for small arms, and they're going to uh, have a civil war here. That's the main thing that I see, Alex, is that um, I, I would like to see that a civil war is... is um, uh, on, you know, on, but on, if they come for the guns, that we have to resist. What, what's that again? But if they do, if they do try to come for the guns, people are going to resist. We want to stop it before it gets to that. Well, that's what I'm saying is that there will be a fight. People will not. They're not so uh, ignorant as to uh, turn in their guns when they get an order. They know better because without a republic. Um, I can guarantee you, you uh, I can guarantee you, most gun owners are going to hide their guns, and that and, and, and then it'll make the gun culture even stronger, and, and then a lot of people are going to start, uh, listen, yeah, but, Ber Bernadine, that's what I've said, the plan is to start a civil war. I don't know if you ever hear my show, but I've been saying that every day for the last year. They no, want... unfortunately, I haven't heard it, but that's what I'm seeing, is a civil war is in the offing, and... Um, Unless this is brought out, uh, we're not going to stop it. This, these facts have to be brought out. That's why you got what you got in the mailing with the white binder and the brown covered book. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this live worldwide broadcast. Uh, it is now already August 2nd, 2012 here. And Bernadine Smith with us for another 20 minutes or so. I want to go to some phone calls for her. But if you just joined us, she has been fighting for the Second Amendment for, I don't know, 30, 40 years. She can give us the exact date. And she went and ferreted out all the U.N. documents. She went and ferreted out uh, their own uh, admitted plans to disarm every man, woman, and child. Separately, we have other U.N. documents where they want to end the family, uh, end our industrial society and reduce our population forcibly. And now all that's on the news. Uh, so they went through a period in the 50s, 60s, and 70s kind of pushing it. Then they backed off and said, no, it doesn't exist. And then now they're back pushing it all and implementing a lot of it. And then uh, I was in Aaron's office and saw this book that I've been meaning to cover, Future Government, Our Future World. And there, there's countless books like this that are in the public schools. And this is from the 80s. And it teaches kids that you'll have drones over your house watching you. You'll all live in communal government housing that's good for the earth. Uh, everything you do will be surveilled. You'll talk to people via televisions uh, instead of phones. So you won't have to travel. 
world government will run everything. It actually says world government. Uh, war will never happen anymore because everyone will live in big bubble cities. And, of course, population will be controlled. Uh, future weapons, uh, that's a stealth bomber. This came out in 1980. But uh, there's the loving stealth bomber before it was declassified. Uh, and uh, war in space will keep us all safe with world government. Again, uh, the new world, uh, the planetary logo for world government. There that is right there. I'm going to do a whole piece on this soon. But And then uh, it breaks down uh, how great the world government's going to be. And I'm going from memory. This was published in 1980. Let me look it up. Uh, let me see here. Where does it say it was uh, published and when? Library of Congress catalog and publication data. Our Future World discusses the idea of world government and the necessity for it in light of the present and future changes and the problems of our global community, international organization, juvenile literature, international. And it doesn't say the publication date. I thought I knew the publication of this. Yeah, I looked it up online. It's 1980, if I remember correctly. Normally, normally they say the date on these. It says copyright 1980? I'm so flustered here, I can't even see it. Where does it say that? Oh, it's on the other side. Okay, I knew my memory was right. Yeah, yeah, okay, copyright 1980. I looked at this at Bilderberg when somebody gave it to me. And I went and looked it up online. There's like dozens of these books. And I remember this being in the elementary school library in Rockwall, Texas. That was, was weird when the guy handed it to me. I said, wait, I've, and look, we're all in a spaceship, but we got to decide who's going to not live, though. There's only so many can live on this United World Federation. Oh, look, it's so much fun. <laughs> and then they've got all the other ones uh, here. Uh, going back to Bernadine Smith. Bernadine Smith, I mean, it's wild to know these technocrats have come up with our future. They're implementing it. It doesn't matter if people are against abortion. It doesn't matter if we're against uh, same-sex marriage. It doesn't matter if we don't want to turn our guns in. It doesn't matter if we don't want all, you know, to have the NSA spying on us. The system is just going ahead with it. True, and it's the same with um, demanding that you surrender your guns. They don't care what you think, but like I said, it's going to lead to a civil war because um, the people have never given their permission, and the federal government is lying about that. The Bill of Rights, as you know, is not subject to repeal, revoke, or rescinding process. It is... It is um, unalienable or inalienable, whichever you want to call it, uh, that they have no authority whatsoever. Uh, what they're doing is counterfeit. It's a fraud. And unless we bring this out before a civil war, we could defuse the civil war if we do bring this out because the civil war is going to be fought over guns. That's what they're going to do. They're going to come in and they're going to kill people if they don't submit to letting their house be searched or, or you know, they take all the information from the sales that are made by uh, gun stores and, and uh, they, they pretty much know, you know, gun clubs, and they, they know who to start with. And that will frighten and terrorize the rest of the population. And, Bernadine, let me expand on what you were saying last hour. People are waking up. I mean, even Time Magazine has to admit it. So we've got a chance to turn this around if people realize we've been occupied. Our government is run at the bureaucratic level by people that are part of this globalist cult. You don't get in unless you're part of it. And it's not to bring peace. It is to bring absolute bondage and enslavement in their own words. That's what's so sickening about this. And they admit that when they stage the crises and order the police and military to go out and get the guns, that it will cause a civil war, they're going to call us all terrorists, it will decimate the police and military, and then in all these documents we just showed, then they bring in the foreign troops. They want Americans to kill each other first, then they come in. We've got to reach out to police and military. And Bernadine, I have been sent classified documents by Army. The Army then admitted three months ago it was real and responded saying it was classified on re-education camps for Americans. I was then sent a document that it was public, but, uh, but, but, but it was uh, tipped off to, where they have gun confiscation training in the military now that we knew was going on for a long time. But now it's official. They're gearing up for it, just like Katrina. 
Uh, boy, I tell you, I mean, if they try this, Bernadine, I would imagine, uh, I, I mean, I would imagine conservatively when the rubber meets the road. I, they will have uh, a resistance, of course, but they will kill a lot of people. Are, are you there? Yeah, no, 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 I'm here listening to you, yeah. Yeah, they, they will kill a lot of people if they resist. And but Do you know uh, how many police and military are going to get killed? Pardon? Well, they, they won't be working with our military. They'll be working with foreign troops. And they'll have them come in and go house to house and search um, properties. Uh, now, that's fa Bernadette Igris, uh, I disagree with you on that. That's phase two. Our troops are now under NATO UN. They are the foreign troops, even though they're good. Yeah, but they'll be bringing people that are uh, from other countries because American boys uh, will catch on too quick and they will not go into their relatives' homes or or a family. Bernadine, you know, I agree with you, but they're training them to do it. I mean, listen, they're training them for right here, though. What do you think is going to happen if they give our troops the order to do this? Well, I don't think I, I don't think that the majority will be happy about it. I I think they'll I think they will be replaced by foreign troops. It won't be our boys. Oh, I agree. They will do other countries and other countries will ransack us. That's that's what you can just envision is what they're going to do. By, by the way, that's all official. We've been to a bunch of urban warfare drills where they have foreign troops training to take our guns and admitting it. But, I mean, let me tell you, that's just an invitation to civil war right there. Uh, but these globalists are just crazy enough to do it. Um, let's uh, go ahead and talk to Michael in Florida. You're on the air with Bernadine Smith, legend when it comes to defending the Second Amendment. Hey, how you doing, Bernadine? Oh, just fine, thank you. How you doing, Alex? All right. All right, I got two points. Uh, first, first of all, I want to say um, when they do false flags and stuff, I wanted to make it a slang that that's a 9-11 because everybody knows at this point that it was fake. So it's like a police call letter. We got a 9-11 going on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, another thing I wanted to ask, since they're making rules for us that we wouldn't consent to, uh, when are they? When do you think they're getting rid of the Constitution? Because it's obviously in their way. They're pulling things like this gun treaty. It's, it, they're getting rid of it. Well, they already passed government control of health care. I mean, it's, it's, it's late in the game here. Yeah, because everything, for every disaster they have, they ignore the Constitution, and it seems like your rights don't apply unless the the court acknowledges your rights. As well, a like I said, actually, the Constitution is not being used because we have the Homeland Security. That is a dictatorship. I've been saying that for... Oh, yeah, it's... It, it, yeah. We are under a dictatorship. No, no, we are under martial law. It, it's just an increment of it. It is there to absorb the old republic. Exactly. And, and uh, uh, who in the Congress will stand up and protest what's happened? Uh, there's this is where we're failing. I, I, I don't know how we're going to uh, get other people to replace some of these people that are exactly are, Michael. Are thank you. Worlders in in uh, the Senate. Well, I mean, here's uh, the deal, Barnadine. Only fifty fifty one. Um, People that are opposing uh, this uh, new treaty with the uh, small arms treaty. Well, Bernadine, uh, that isn't enough to stop it. And um, I, 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 I really don't have all the answers of of how we're going to stop it, but I know it has to be stopped. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to go to break here, Bernadine, and come back with a few final calls for you. But okay. uh, I want listeners to really have it hit them, the magnitude of this. We are occupied now by a foreign banking world government that is so arrogant and so sure of itself. It's telling us this now on the news while the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center, foreign agents, openly say we're insane and traitors and need to be arrested for saying there's a world government that's illegitimate. I mean, we are occupied. And now they're putting in the internet kill switches. They're getting ready to shut down talk radio. They're getting ready to start wars and false flags as a way to sell it. For more than six years, I've talked on the air about creating a social network. PlanetInfoWars.com is in its beta phase. 
We're just launching it. And I want to invite all of you out there to be in on the ground level. Planet InfoWars is about people coming together, forming activist organizations, getting involved politically, hunting and fishing, gardening, dating. This is a place for people who love freedom to meet and to talk and to write and to post information. And I give you this pledge. We are not going to spy on you and sell your data to the New World Order. PlanetInfoWars.com is free, so people who love freedom can get together. Connect with people who are awake and know what we're facing. Be active. Organize. Take action. Go viral. Create. Contribute. Resist. Because resistance is victory. You are victory. It's waiting for you to breathe power into it. PlanetInfoWars.com. This is a global government, and they say they're good guys, but they're not. And if you study what the financial interests that run the UN are up to and what they do, I mean, they say they want you poor. They say they want you to not be able to have children. They say that, well, Prince Charles doesn't want you to be able to take a hot bath, but then he's got hundreds of palaces and aircraft and private trains. He actually told people, don't take hot baths this winter. It takes too much gas to heat the water. I mean, this is just like this this instinct of these pigs to dominate us and block our development so they can control us. And then I've got all the white papers where it's stated. And then they sit there and tell us how they care about us. And, oh, turn your guns in. We want to take care of you. No, they want to be able to shut down any business they want, like Chick-fil-A in Chicago. They want to run our lives. Let's take another call. John in Texas, you're on with Bernadine Smith. Hi, Alex. Hey, buddy. Hi, Bernadine. Bernadine, do you think, you talk about the Civil War, do you think this is going to be a Civil War like they had in Spain in 1937 where the nationalists are fighting against the, the globalist, communist, internationalists? Probably. Probably even worse. You know, we're, we're larger. And um, our, our country's population is greater. It, it will be a disaster. And um, the, the main thing that I wanted to get on uh, and uh, the point I wanted to get over is that there never was any permission to break the Second Amendment. The people have never approved of it. It has been falsified. And that point has to be brought uh, to our Congress. And uh, like I said, hopefully we can get Rand Paul to lead in that. If not, then gun clubs all over the country should be um, letting the people know that that's a predicament that we're in. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to be um, stripped of our, our only uh, defense, our only ability to fight against uh, world communism. And um, I would suggest that people go to my website and look under the category called Gun Prohibition and see the article that uh, it's a 75-page uh, report. starts out by calling it fabrication or a falsification of the people's approval for the prohibition of the right to keep and bear arms. And start from there. And if that word can get around... Uh, it will open up many of these subjects that you're talking about. Well, I totally agree with you because the average gun shop or gun range does nothing and just lays there as if that's going to keep them safe. And they go, well, I don't want the ATF to get mad at me. They're your servants. Get in their face. They're doing things that are illegal. They're shipping guns to Mexico. Stop laying down like sheep to these wolves. Thank you, John. Let's talk to Jason in California. You're on the air with Bernadine Smith. Hey, Alex and Bernadine, um, long-time listener. I just got a couple points and then a question. I mean, we knew that this was happening long ago. We knew that the false flag was coming. We saw the Department of Homeland Security with their videos saying, look out for white terrorists, look out for homegrown terrorists, look out. And you know what? It's been right under our nose. We knew it was coming. And look, now we have one of the worst false flags in American history, not because of the casualties, but because of what it's going to do to us. This is going to take our Second Amendment away. 
And we need full spectrum civil disobedience because we as the American people cannot let this happen. Exactly. Before the Civil War starts and the cities collapse and hundreds of thousands of police and citizens are killed, we have got to come together now and say no. Don't stage terror attacks. Don't blame it on us. And don't do it because it is pointless to have a war with the military and police. Even though they will lose, that's part of the plan. Then they're going to bring in the foreign troops. I'm telling you, folks, I've seen their plan. Bernadine doesn't even listen to the show, and, and she's already saying the exact same thing, and I haven't talked to her in probably 10 years. This is hardcore. Bernadine Smith, uh, how long has it been since you've been on the show? Oh, it's quite a while. But, but the, the, the fact is that um, the people, you know, the, the people have never given their permission, and... Uh, that has to be brought out. Um, I, I just, you know, uh, hope that they will realize that they've got to complain now before a war starts. A that, war that's is right. inevitable. A war is going to come because they're going to go after uh, the people's guns. That's the only way that they can protect themselves, and they're going to try to take them. That's right. The globalists have taken over the government. Now they want us individually enslaved. This is hardcore. Bernie Smith, LibertyGunRights.com. We salute you. We'll be back with more key intel. Stay with us. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.